Hey guys, this is iPod Apps Weekly. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, make sure you need to have a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone, and you also need a wireless router. Now, basically what SSH is, it means secure shell. SSH means that you can actually access the files on your iPod Touch or iPhone like it's a thumb drive or a USB stick. Now, basically you'll need a program first, and this one's in Windows. If you're in a, a Mac OS X, then you can use Cyberduck. Cyberduck, okay? So, um, you're gonna go to the link in the sidebar. You'll come to something like this. Um, it's actually called WinSCP. It's free, and uh, you can actually use it for free without um, having to pay anything. So, we're gonna hit download now. It's only 2.37 megabytes, so it won't take that long to download. Once the download's done, you can close your browser. Now, go ahead and run the executable. Just go ahead and install it. Now we're going to launch WinSCP. Now, before we enter any information into WinSCP, you're going to need to do some stuff on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, um, so let's get on our iPod Touch. Okay, so um, now we're going to install SSH on our iPod Touch or iPhone. And uh, make sure your iPod Touch is jailbroken, because if not, then you won't have City, and without City, you won't be able to do this jailbreak. Okay, so basically, first, what you want to do first is... Um, <laughs> Uh, is go to sections and then go to networking now you're gonna go down into uh, open SSH now once you're in there go ahead and just hit install and uh, you'll confirm there Okay, so you're about done now. Now just restart your springboard. And um, I guess now you have SSH installed. So um, it's not going to show up on the springboard because it's actually um, an internal application. So um, you'll actually see it. Uh, actually, you won't see it, but it, it is working and it's on. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, SSH will be always turned on. So now that you have SSH installed, you'll need to go into settings. Go into Wi-Fi, and to the network that you're connected to, hit that blue arrow. Now, note the IP address. Mine is 10.0.0.4. Just remember that. And um, keep your iPod on and connected to the network. Don't let it go to sleep. Just keep it on, okay? So now we're going to go back to the computer. Okay, so uh, remember that number? It was 10.0.0.4. That would be the host name. Okay, so it's different for everyone. It's, it's not going to be 10.0.0.4 for you. It could be. It depends on what router you have. I have a Netgear wireless, so mine's 10.0.0.4. Yours could be 192.168 or something like that. It's just a variable of stuff div divisible by two. Okay, so um, now we're going to go to username. That's going to be a root by default. R-O-O-T, the password's going to be Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. Like the tree, I guess. Um, make sure it's SFTP and uh, port 22 and uh, hit login. The first login will take quite a while because it's generating some hex numbers and um, so it's going to take a while so you're just going to chill. Okay so eventually you'll get a message called a warning the server's host keys blah 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 blah. Just go ahead and click yes. Now you have successfully entered the files and file system of your iPod Touch or iPhone. So basically, this is everything inside your iPod Touch right now, the media, um, the application folders, everything. So you can actually mod your iPod Touch now, and you can actually add stuff inside, but note that it will go through your network, so it will slow down your network if you move a big file from your computer to your iPod Touch. So um, it actually uses your network. It's wireless. You don't even have to need your computer connected to your iPod Touch to do this. You can have your iPod Touch on in, uh, in another room across your house and you can still um, be able to SSH inside. So uh, that's basically it. So uh, thanks for watching. This has been a video by iPod Apps Weekly. I'll be making videos every week and um, I hope that you subscribe so you can actually see all those videos and uh, hope they help you. And uh, if you need any help, just put it in the comments below or send me a PM. Any video requests, go ahead. Just send me a PM. I'm really bored right now. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.